really nice. No, it's, it's super fan. nice. There's I'm a bunch of setups. There's a lot of room for everything. Anyway, anyway, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, Let's get right into it. Uh, doubles match: Cobalt and Slocks versus G Bunny and DJ Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, striking actually, to, yeah, striking to Pokemon. Uh, probably a pretty comfort pick for the majority of people here. Like Space Animals just love. Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, so I think again, this is gonna be a very different pace from the last one we saw. A lot of lasers, a lot of up smashes, a lot of uh, down B. I hope you guys like the shine noise because you're gonna be hearing a lot of that this match. Uh, I actually love it. I think it's such a good sound effect. Mainly sound sound effect is so good. Oh, it is, dude. No one talks about that. Yeah, but like, oh, there's so many things that are so satisfying. Anyway, anyway. Uh, Fox coming in with a big up smash. Yeah. Also, shout outs to Kobo rocking that little. Kanji tag, so we know it's global. <laughs> There's the smiley tag. That, that would have been so much more difficult. I was like trying to figure out for a second who was who. But global is always the smiley tag. And he likes to smile. Oh, wow. That, all right, that was pretty cool. Yeah, was that was, a, that was actually smash? a really big up. No, that was a big up smash, Ryan. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I'm actually, I actually have, no, unlike the last, last round, I have no idea how this one is going to go. Because G Money uh, is pretty good. DJ Nintendo is kind of, like crazy in doubles. And then yeah. Cobalt and Slash are just both like really good players. I don't know about their double synergies too much, but uh Yeah, I personally don't know much either. Uh, from from what I know of how Cobalt likes to play doubles, uh, from what he's told me is that he always kinda likes to be the aggressor role. Uh, yeah. he functions well when people are able to kinda like give him the support to kind of run in and be the, like, you know, be the aggressor that he wants to be. Because uh, Cobalt's the kind of guy that's going to like go out there for the edge guard every single time, regardless of whether it's a good idea or not. <laughs> and, uh, uh, sorry, continue. And so, like, you know, he's he wants the he wants the person that's just going to be able to have his back, regardless. And it looks like Sox is doing a pretty good job of it. Yeah, Blue team is currently up at the moment, only by one stock. I, I think that's actually, like, one of the big, big things about doubles, is, like, you really have to know, like, what your role is. Like, and oh, obviously yeah, be sure. able to change it up, but like, you know, if you guys are both trying to go in, you know, you're just gonna get in each other's way, like, things aren't gonna yeah, work yeah. out, you know, you'll shine each other and then like, you know, it, it just doesn't work. But, if Cobalt and Slocks have like, a good idea of how they both want to play the game, like, obviously you change it up in the moment, but like, I think having a general strategy is great. And look at Cobalt going ham, protecting Slocks. Like, Slocks is about to get edge guarded, and Cobalt just like, yeah. says no. You're not coming near my mans. A little bit of technical error, I assume, from Sox coming out. Just kinda yeah. Wow, nice up there. I actually didn't think that was going to connect. Um, all right, so, so actually, the last time, okay, so the last time that I played Sox, uh, it was Big House a couple weeks ago. Uh, he is very, very, very good at being evasive. Uh, he was just in a scenario. Yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. He was just in a scenario where he was in a one v two. Yeah. Like he was the one. You know what I, I mean? and like red team basically could have rushed him down with impunity, but instead he like. He was able to like just kind of run to the corner and like just still be threatening, still be threatening up to the point where they were like, okay, I don't really want to approach this guy. I was about to say the exact same thing. I thought that was really smart. He did a lot of like oh, good uh, lasers. Yeah, great, great lasers actually. That's and that's I guess the power of Falcon teams, right? Yeah, it was good. You know, like uh, DJ Nintendo was about to lose his stock and like finds a laser, at least gives them a chance. And G Money yeah, yeah. just kind of saying, all right, I'm not gonna take your stocks by myself. Yeah, it's company. tough. Look at that. Synchronized poses. I, that, that's always like this. I think the scariest thing about Fox and teams is like when they do like synchronized things and they just seem like like they have a high. Oh, yeah. Mind. Like they're like, like, oh, God. Like you're like, oh, my God. How do I do this? <laughs> they're just everywhere, dude. They, they're, they're robots. They know everything. And then I they was, do that. I know, I know what you mean. I was playing doubles last night with a couple friends. And at one point, like, I think we were playing double Fox. And like one of the Foxes, like, like I think like forward through, like, like a Jigglypuff or something like into me and I immediately re-grabbed it and like up or up air them and they were like uh, 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 oh god. what the heck so I know exactly like they can put well, well, well like the space animals are like moving that fast and they're like so in sync yeah they're, like you definitely are like oh my god they're, dude, what they're do seeing I the do? Matrix. seeing yeah. the matrix dude <laughs> alright so striking at Dreamland um, I feel like this is actually a pretty smart pick because it seemed like Slox and Cobalt were, were both winning like the scrapping wars. Right, yeah, yeah. They were definitely running in and winning the, like, you know, the little kind of fights, the little yeah. scrambles that were happening. So, uh, Dreamlight definitely, I think, a, a good choice as well. It's going to give them. Oh, no, DJ going a little too ham. Oh, oh, okay, all right. Was but, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say that was like a great save by, uh, yeah, by DJ. Yeah. But uh, Blue team put into a bad scenario, but uh, not quite able to make it happen. Oh, yeah, most definitely. 
Uh, ooh, that, da that dash attack double shine. I love little things like that. Uh, double so good. Oh no! All right, so yeah, G Money starts a little combo with for his opponents. It's a little shine on a uh, on doing that. A okay. great nair. Let's see if uh, never mind. I was hoping DJ Nintendo could clear that up. Did not work out. Oh. I thought we were gonna see the most gangster thing ever. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely like a little bit difficult to keep track of. Like, which fox is dying? Oh, was that on purpose? That. Oh, poor, poor Falco doesn't have the the flames at the beginning to like save his or save his. Oh wow! Teammate. Great pickup from Sox. Did you see that? Like, Koma threw him up on the top platform, and Sox immediately ran up and back air the missed tag. Dude, seeing the matrix. Yeah, that's tough. Seeing the matrix. Fast. Yeah. And, and I guess the, yeah, that's like the big thing about Double Fox. Like, they can blow you up so. Quick. Oh yeah. So quick. Like, if you thought one fox could blow you up, two. Oh man. All right. Really smart stuff there by a. Uh, by G Money and DJ Nintendo, G Money kind of like covered all the low options with uh, that dare, and then DJ Nintendo just waited for it to land on the platform and then nared him off, nared him right back off, reset the situation. And just like that, it's not even, but it's it's closer. Yeah. We'll start off. We'll start off for. Uh, yeah, it's starting off sorry, for Red Team. We'll start off bad. for Red Team looking bad, and now it's quickly back in their favor. Uh, oh, I should say, I'm sorry, even. Yeah. And look apologies. at that. They just and look, they're racking up the percent. They're not dying either. Yeah. Okay, DJ goes right. down to that one. Yeah. Commentators, curious, haha. Uh, but is the thing close stuck? Yeah. So I think G Money really needed to apply pressure right there. Like he was just kind of letting Slocks, you know, pressure uh, DJ Nintendo. Or nice. Yeah, he was letting Slocks pressure DJ when DJ was trying to get the edge guard. But uh, Cole going a little nuts. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. But Red Team's in the lead. This is like the crazy thing thing about doubles again, like momentum shifts so oh, so yeah. quickly. Especially with the with the spaces. Yeah. As well as Especially. singles, you know what I mean? But like at any given point you could just Yeah. And then suddenly you're at 80% and you're off stage and you're getting edge guarded. Yeah, like already like within like the last minute, the lead has shifted like three times, I think. Bro, can we talk about how good G Money's like? Yeah, G Money's lasers right now. He's he's both applying pressure from across the stage and saving it. That's so He's so good! Okay, never mind. Oh, okay. One laser too many. But, uh. Cobalt on top of it, though. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna let you do your thing and then, you know, kill him eventually. Yeah. But, you know, like, even just, like, getting all those lasers, keeping them in the corner, like, making sure that, like, they don't extend the lead too much. Uh -huh. Like, that's that's fine, right? That's like, good idea. You know, it's, I'm a fan. it's not great, but, like, he'll take it. Oh, yeah. A little bit too slow on that laser. Like, that's like a low key counter to like Falco like lasering you when you're, when you're at the ledge, just ledge hop side B. <laughs> but man, as a Falco, you feel so Yo, bad. That's, that fourth throw yeah. was sick. That's so good. Did you see this? Oh my god. All right. And G Money saved by the by the reverse back here. Let's see if he can clean it up. Wow, and that laser was actually perfect. G Money Fight. keeping them in the game. Oh no, Cobalt coming in with an up smash on Slocks. DJ not quite able to get the edge guard. Now he's off stage. DJ's angles have oh. been off point so far. Yeah. Oh, that'll do it. G Money trying to apply pressure, but it wasn't quite enough. Let's see if he can pull this off. Can he, can he get the Never mind. Perfect, <laughs> perfect tech roll coverage. Yeah. Uh, it, that's kind of like, yeah, where, where do you go? Yeah, it's rough life. Hey, what we'll started off as a strong game. Strong game for red team. Or, I'm sorry, strong.